because like I'd mentioned early on the video, we did have some drama in the office today. As much as I say I don't allow drama in my office, we, we had some. And um, if I would have left it the ball in his court, he would have ignored it. He would have not handled it. But I knew the drama was coming, could hear it with the tones of the staff, the way they were talking to each other, could tell with the a little bit of whispering going on, and a little bit of the behind closed doors. And when I walk in, of course, everybody stops talking. Um, so my advice, um, not like he would say, just ignore it until it blows up, would be if you feel like there's something going on, either between employees or with an employee, is to first do a little investigation. Um, I'm not saying get in and get into the gossip. I'm not saying get in there and find out all the goosey, you know, the juicy um, details. I'm saying you need to investigate. You need to figure out who's involved. Um, is are there five people involved? Is it one person? Who maybe is the instigator? Um, what is the issue? Uh, the way to do that is really direct conversation. So what I would do is if I had got something when I did this week is I actually sat down with those who I felt might be involved and said, what's going on? You know, I need to know this because I don't allow drama in the office. And I kind of pieced together the scenario by having real conversations. Now, like I said, it's very hard to not get sucked in, um, get drawn into the drama. It should be very cut and dry. I need to know what's going on. I need to know what happened. I don't, and if a lot of times you tend to get the, but let me tell you more and let me tell you more and let me tell you more. And it's not my fault. It's their fault. Um, you've got to be really direct. You really have to kind of take on a leadership role to figure out what's going on. Um, then once you've figured out what's going on, and again, you have to talk to your doctor about how they would want to handle it. In my office, I get a little bit of free reign because my husband sort of relies on me for that. But once I determined what was going on, I needed to handle the issue. And so then you got to go directly to the source. So what I did is I, those that were involved, I sat down with them. We sat down. Now, depending on what you've got going on, you can sit down for a little bit in the consultation room and just handle it. Um, we tend to go outside the office if it's bigger because we just don't want to bring the drama into the office. Um, and then you need to handle it. Um, you need to find out, it, can the person, does the person um, admit that they were involved in whatever? Does the person understand that it was wrong? Does the person want to fix it and work on it? Um, maybe you need to have some policies in place once you've gone through this to go, all right, next time we can't do it this way. Um, but you really need to take that lead role in investigating, communicating, figuring out the problem, fixing the problem, because the doctor's not going to. Mm -hmm.